For nearly a century, humanity has lived under one great cosmic assumption, that the universe began 13.8 billion years ago with the Big Bang. It's a number that defined everything, our history, our origins, even our sense of place in the cosmos. But now, the universe has whispered back through the eyes of the James Webb Space Telescope, and what it's telling us doesn't fit the story we've been telling ourselves. Because Webb has found light older than time itself, galaxies and clusters that seemed to exist before the Big Bang ever happened. And if that's true, it changes everything. It started quietly. A new round of deep field images came in from Webb, crisp golden data filled with the faintest glimmers from the edge of time. Scientists began analyzing them, expecting to confirm what Hubble had shown decades before. But the numbers didn't add up. Webb was detecting galaxies too bright, too massive, and too ancient to fit within the known timeline of our universe. Even more puzzling, one of the oldest star clusters ever observed, known as M92, appeared to have an age of 13.8 billion years. That's the same age as the universe itself, meaning by our current model, M92 would have had to form instantly at the moment of creation, which is impossible. And it's not alone. Weber has identified entire galaxies that appear to be hundreds of millions of years older than the Big Bang. At first, astronomers laughed it off. They called it data noise, calibration errors, or redshift miscalculations. But the deeper Webb looked, the worse the contradictions became. It wasn't just one galaxy. It wasn't even 10. Webb kept finding more and more ancient structures that simply shouldn't exist. That's when cosmologists began to say the unthinkable, that maybe, just maybe, our universe is much older than we've believed. To understand the scale of this problem, we have to rewind the cosmic clock. For decades, scientists have used two primary tools to estimate the age of the universe, the expansion rate and the cosmic microwave background radiation, or CMB. The CMB, the faint afterglow left by the Big Bang, has been measured in exquisite detail by satellites like COBE, WAMAP, and Planck. From that data, Cosmologists estimated the universe to be about 13.8 billion years old. That number became gospel, printed in textbooks, spoken in documentaries, memorized by students. But the other measurement, the expansion rate of the universe, known as the Hubble constant, began to tell a different story. When scientists used nearby galaxies to calculate expansion directly, the numbers came out higher. Higher expansion means a younger universe, around 12.5 to 13 billion years old. Two different answers, two conflicting realities. For years, scientists brushed it off as a small inconsistency, a tension between early and late universe measurements. But Webb's new data has taken that tension and turned it into a chasm. Because if some of these galaxies are truly older than 13.8 billion years, then the cosmic clock we've been using is wrong. The universe could be not 14 billion, but 26 or even 30 billion years old. That's where Professor Rajendra Gupta from the comes in. In 2023, Gupta proposed a radical new cosmological model that directly addresses what Webb is seeing. According to his calculations, the universe didn't begin 13.8 billion years ago. It began 26.7 billion years ago. How could that be possible? Gupta revisited Einstein's equations of general relativity, combining them with an older idea known as tired light theory. In this framework, light doesn't just stretch because of cosmic expansion. It also loses energy through interactions with particles and fields as it travels. That loss makes distant objects appear farther and older than they really are. When Gupta recalculated the universe's age using this model, everything fell into place. The ancient galaxies observed by Webb suddenly made not everyone agrees, of course. The scientific community is deeply divided. Some argue that Webb's instruments may be misinterpreting data. Others claim that dust or gravitational lensing could be distorting the redshift readings. 
but with every recalibration and follow-up, the evidence for impossible galaxies keeps growing stronger. Even renowned physicist Mikio Keiko has spoken about it, calling Webb's discoveries a potential paradigm shift in cosmology. He explained that these early galaxies are forcing scientists to consider that our universe might be part of a much larger multiverse where new universes are constantly being born. And here's the twist. This isn't the first time Einstein's work has hinted at this possibility. In 1917, Einstein's general relativity predicted a dynamic universe when they could expand or contract. To keep it stable, he added the now famous cosmological constant, which he later called his biggest mistake. But that same constant has returned as the mysterious dark energy, the force driving our universe's expansion today. Now, as Webb peers farther back than any instrument before it, Einstein's equations may be revealing yet another truth, that this expansion has no true beginning or end. Perhaps it's not a single explosion that created everything, but an eternal rhythm. Universes expanding and collapsing, one giving birth to the next. So what does this mean for us, for humanity's understanding of reality itself? For one, it means that time is not as simple as we thought. The universe may not be a straight line with a beginning and an end. It might be a loop, a spiral, or something even stranger, a fractal of recurring creation, where each Big Bang is just a moment in an infinite chain of rebirths. And it also means that the universe may have memory, a way of passing on structure from one epoch to another. The heavy elements Webb sees in ancient galaxies could be relics from a previous cosmos recycled through gravitational collapse. That would make the universe not a one-time miracle, but an endless story, a book that keeps writing itself. And if that's the case, then everything we see around us, every star, every atom, even the light reaching your eyes right now, could be part of something far older than time itself. Still, the implications are unsettling. If the universe is far older than 13.8 billion years, then everything we thought we understood about its structure must be rewritten from scratch. Cosmology textbooks would need to be redrafted from scratch. The cosmic timeline from inflation to star formation would stretch beyond imagination. Dark energy, dark matter, and the Big Bang would all need to be re-examined. In the words of one NASA astrophysicist, we are at the edge of a scientific revolution one where our universe might no longer be the only one, and our beginning might not be the first. It's humbling to think about. For generations, humanity has looked to the stars and assumed we were peering into the past. But perhaps what Webb is showing us now is something far more profound, the past that keeps repeating. Maybe time doesn't flow forward at all. Maybe it breathes, expanding and contracting like the cosmos itself. So where does this leave us? If Gupta's model holds and the universe truly is 26.7 billion years old, then everything, from the birth of galaxies to the creation of elements, has had twice as much time to evolve. The impossible galaxies Webb found aren't impossible at all. They're simply older than our equations allowed. But it also opens the door to something even deeper, that the universe is not a one-time event, but an eternal pattern and that what we call the Big Bang might just be one heartbeat in an infinite cycle. Maybe Einstein was right again, not just about relativity or gravity, but about the very nature of existence itself. Space and time are not separate things. They're one continuous fabric woven across ages that never truly begin or end. So, what do you think? Has James Webb just proven that our universe is far older, maybe even eternal? Are we witnessing the unraveling of modern cosmology or the beginning of something even greater, a new understanding of creation itself? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Cosmolife for more journeys to the edge of existence, because every time we think we've reached the limits of what we know, the universe reminds us, it's far too late to apologize.